All right, I have a rant. I was going to try and act like I'm not reading it, but I'm reading it, so just listen. Homeschool conventions, do not go to one. Homeschool conventions are the last place on earth for a nice family like yours this summer. Listen to me and stay far, far away. You and your children already understand that learning is a job and there's only one location to do it. If you go to a homeschool convention, you'll for sure be exposed to alternate ways and locations to not only learn, but even alternate subjects to study. There's a huge possibility that your children may wander around the exhibit hall full of learning and teaching resources and get really excited about robotics or writing their own adventure novel or accidentally figure out some construction math while planning and building their own fort. They may unintentionally learn science in real life by discovering a curiosity for seeds and plants, or even worse, turn into someone who values wildlife and the outdoors and accidentally learn details and facts to a depth of scientific and bio biological knowledge that the textbooks in their public school, they don't even have them in the table of contents. What if they don't stay on the scope and sequence of their own grade? I mean, you can't risk it. Honestly, after you see the thousands of curriculum options for yourself, you'll for sure need a restroom break and you'll have to speak to some volunteer who will likely be a well-mannered young adult, which will challenge your belief that all teens are up to no good. Then you'll no longer be fearful of all the teenage peers and you'll start thinking that young adults are possibly capable, interesting humans who are looking not only to improve their atmosphere, but also do more than just get higher numbers on a spreadsheet that has their name at the top for a bigger scholarship for the next grade. I mean, 13th grade, right? Which, that's what we call college. On top of that, you'll likely want to sit down and rest your feet, and you'll end up listening to the tripe that the keynote speakers are going to spew. They will for sure challenge the tra traditional scope of thought you've been operating under for at least two generations, and heavens to Betsy, what kind of holiday will you have if you break the mold and allow your own children to have input on what their education looks like before they go to college. I mean, the Thanksgiving table will be a little tense with your in-laws. That is too big of a risk for your kid's educational journey. Beyond holiday meals with the in-laws, your children might also learn so much before college in their area of interest that they don't even need a debt-funded empty degree because their entrepreneurial lessons available with all their free time now could allow them to start their own business, earn their own money, and they might end up skipping college altogether. I mean, what about your alma mater? They were going to be a legacy student. Beyond the learning options, you know that you know, you know that you know that the local school's agenda fits with yours perfectly. All the politics, the faith of each teacher that's in charge of your children for the bulk of every weekday completely matches your own belief system. If not, diversity is the best policy. So if you end up, heaven forbid, getting brainwashed into homeschooling, you would indelibly connect with your own children because of this gigantic increase of time that you have with them. And some of their tendencies would annoy you. And then you would correct those so they would be really weird. Those kids of yours would probably turn into sociable, um, polite humans, become really great conversationalists. They could be humorous and fun to be around. And that is quite different from most of their public school counterparts of the same age. Weird. Another point the speakers will make, because they honestly, they do every single year, is that teaching your own children is actually really fun and enjoyable. It takes just a fraction of the time each day that it takes to teach an entire classroom from different backgrounds and different learning styles. Because when it's your own child, they're gonna say, you're able to be more effective and more efficient. So not only do they learn in a deeper way, but they learn more quickly. And that would be awful because you'll end up having so much fun. You may end up regretting your high income career, decide to cut back to a part-time job or even a single income family as you find out that spending all this extra time together is actually worth cutting corners, clipping coupons, growing a garden, and cutting down on restaurants and vacations. The thing is, when life is empty of all those hardline schedules, early mornings, late nights, packed full weekends, you just don't crave a vacation from this life. Living weekend to weekend, holding your breath for the next break away from the rat race isn't so necessary anymore. And really, you wouldn't want to give up that expensive yearly trip. It's tradition. So, do not go to a homeschool convention. 
it could very well be life-changing.